Hello, Seymour. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Superintendent Chalmers. How about you? I'm doing great, thank you. I came to share some good news with you. I heard the cafeteria is hosting a special Christmas lunch today, and I wanted to invite you to join me. That sounds lovely. Uh, thank you for the invitation. What time should I meet you there? It starts at 12 p.m., so we still have some time to chat. Would you like to talk about your plans for the holidays? Sure, I'd love to. I actually have a special surprise for you, too. I arranged for a private chef to come in and cook a delicious paper bark for us. Wow, that sounds impressive. What kind of dish is paper bark? It's a traditional Australian dish made from eucalyptus leaves that are wrapped around a grilled or roasted meat, like a turkey or lamb. That sounds unique. What does it taste like? It has a delicious smoky flavor, and the leaves create a crispy texture. I'm sure you'll love it. Wow, look at that. The Aurora Borealis is such a beautiful sight. It's a rare treat to see it so close to Springfield. We're really lucky. Here it is, Superintendent Chalmers. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It looks and smells absolutely amazing, Seymour. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, I burned the food again. This always happens when I'm camping. I must be losing my touch. Maybe we can use some of the burnt pieces to start a new fire, or maybe there's another way to cook our dinner. Oh, I know. We could try using the camping stove instead. That way we won't have to worry about the fire getting out of control. See, even a burnt paper bark can lead to a better solution. Let's give it a try. And I see as I'm growing outside. That would be a great substitute for the burnt paper bark. Excitement. I'm going to climb out the window and get some azam to replace the burnt paper bark. Eagerness. How can I best prepare this substitute? Maybe I can marinate it in some herbs and spices. Thinking. Wish me luck. Confidence. Why did I burn the paper bark again? I need to be more careful with my cooking. What's that smell, Skinner? Oh, that's just the Aurora Borealis meat. It's a natural phenomenon that occurs when hot air rises from the kitchen, causing steam to form into beautiful colors in the sky. I don't think so. That smells like smoke to me. No, mate. It's definitely the Aurora Borealis. Trust me, once I perfect this recipe, we'll be famous. All right, Skinner. Let me know when you actually manage to make something edible without setting off the fire alarms. This meal is wrong, isn't it? No, it's fine. I checked the recipe. Did you see that? There's a fire in the kitchen. Yeah, it's just a remnant of Halloween. Don't worry about it. How could a remnant of Halloween be localized in the kitchen? I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Skinner, I appreciate the lunch, but I can't help but notice the house burning. Oh, that. It's just a remnant of Halloween. Don't worry about it. For you, serious. That seems like a pretty significant event. Look, I don't know what happened, but it's not a big deal. Let's just move on, okay? I suppose, but I still have my doubts. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. Have a safe trip home. Goodbye, Chalmers. <sighs> have a safe trip home. <laughs>